Good morning, we've come to Exmoor for a little walk and um, we've come to Dunkery and we're going to go to the highest point in Exmoor and have a look at the view. Um, it's currently bird nesting season so we're going to be careful to stay on the paths um, and just get up the hill, have a look at the view. And that music you can hear is a horse and dog show that's on at the moment. Walking for a few minutes now and we're already lost. We are well we've been taken on the wrong track. So now we're back on track up the hill. You can hear what I think is a meadow pipit. You might be able to see it on that bit of heather in front of you. Get away up the hill now. We're already starting to get some beautiful views. And something lovely as well as we're going up is the flowers that we're seeing. Um, so you've got this beautiful, I think this is Bell Heather, which is the Erica family. Um, and then you've got these lovely flowering grasses. Um, and there's these beautiful little yellow flowers. Here they are. So we'll just say are. when I was in Scotland with university. It's one of the points that we looked at. I can't remember anything about them. And I think we've got Alice and Polly in the last name. We're getting a bit further up now and um, a little bit sheltered from the wind, I say as a gust of wind blows in. Um, but we're right close to the top, you can see some other people walking, um, so not long to go now. There's the top, you see a little curve at the top. There we go, nearly there. Ben's just pointed out that we've come so far to the north of Somerset that you can actually see Wales over there, so that's the sea and that's Wales just across it. And we've just been looking over there as well, you might be able to see big bird of prey. I love that kind of flower shape for the nectar. Look how beautiful it is. Right near the top now. You can see high Ben's head, the um the summit. Which is the highest point in Exmoor. a little double becker because he was getting really hungry. I've not eaten anything yet but I'm alright. Um, I've taken a couple of pictures up there and um, I'm just going to start heading down. Shouldn't take as long I think on the way down. Um, and then we're going to do the rest of the day but probably just stay in the Exmoor area, maybe go do a bit more exploring. Got some sheepies. Hello. Down the hill. Running down that hill. <laughs> There's 
still lots of sheep here on the track. Um, you can see lots of those white tufts as well. Quite a lot more people on this bit. So this is the main track up and down. Um, but yeah, not too far now. Right at the end now, car's just over there. Whew. It's quite cold today for June, um, but it's been a cold front of air in this weekend uh, after the heat wave, so to be expected. I think that's the Bristol Tunnel over there. You can see? I was saying that that's the Bristol Channel, isn't it? Yeah. To lunch at the fisherman's cot um now we're back in devon uh we're gonna get something to eat here and just have a little walk around the grounds because it looks quite pretty um so i'll show you the food once that turns up we're back in the car um because we just went in to go see if we got any tables and it's fully booked so we're gonna have to find somewhere else to eat now um we're getting quite hungry so hopefully we get somewhere <laughs> soon <laughs> Good morning. Um, so today is actually a really exciting day because I'm coming to the end of my jaw surgery journey. So just for context, I have had double jaw surgery in January 2022 and I started my process I think in March of I want to say 2019 um, because oh yeah yeah, it was that early. Was it that early? I actually can't remember. It's been about two or three years since I started the process. Um, so to get to, to have my double jaw surgery, I had to go to a private orthodontist who then measured my bite. And they then referred me to an NHS orthodontist to begin the proceedings. I had braces fitted adjusted every six to eight weeks and then after about two i think about two years of braces i had double jaw surgery in january um it took about two months to recover uh, to a point where i was able to eat more normally back to normal energy levels um and now i do feel like i'm very much back to myself it's now june um, and I'm having my brace off today, so that is what's going to be really exciting um, for me, so you can see. I have a brace, I've had this on, as I've said, for a couple of years, and I'm really excited to get it removed. Um, I still have a couple bit more bits of dental treatment to have, um, because something that I didn't realise was a risk of double jaw surgery, was that you can end up needing a root canal um, from the surgery. So one of my front teeth um, has slightly discoloured and that happened in the week after my surgery and I think that that's due to trauma um, of that mouth area and it's just, um, yeah, that's, that tooth is going to need um, fixing with a root canal and I've got that on Wednesday this week. So it's going to be a really full on week but I'm really excited and what I'll do is I'll speak to you again just before my appointment show you my teeth close up and then when I come out I'll also show you them as well so it's very scary they're exciting and I just really hope that everything goes well today so apologies for the close up but these are my teeth up close okay I'm just getting ready to go um, to the orthodontist now um, so this is my last couple of hours of my brace so yeah, let's let's get ready. Okay, so I'm back from the dentist. Sorry, the orthodontist. I've had my brace removed, as you can see. Um, it looks like that. Um, the only slight issue is that my this tooth is discolored, and I think this one is as well. And I think that's what we think that's from the double jaw surgery, and I had um. It's like a, basically a trauma to your mouth, so two teeth are bruised, possibly need a root canal, um, which I'll be getting later on in on this week, so I'll be getting a root canal on Wednesday, probably. 